how are you doing? <laughs> I hope everything is fine. I'm Alessandro Drenzis, CEO of Globe Technologies, a company that specializes in uh, augmented reality since 2008. Uh, our main platform is uh, AR Media, and uh, I'm here today to tell you about our project that we had, uh, um, we, we have completed uh, uh, just recently with our partner, uh, Russian partner, Avia Real, um, and uh, it is related to flight safety. So uh, the problem that we try to address is uh, special navigation in low visibility conditions. Uh, today, uh, aircraft are, aircraft are over overwhelmed with uh, um, navigation avionics, but uh, um, regardless of this uh, tragedy, this uh, happens uh, regularly. Um, there is uh, some solutions that are actually that are is available, uh, like tunnel in the sky, uh, but actually uh, the information that this kind of solution uh, provides are not very effective. Um, the solution that we have uh, provided uh, is a pocket size augmented reality system. Uh, that meaning that it, it is a system that you can add on top of what uh, your airplane already provides. And uh, we will see it now a video demonstrating the um, system, in, um, the prototype testing that we have uh, done. Um, the video is still start now, okay. Uh, we tried the system on our Cessna, uh, small airplane. And uh, the system is made of, of main four components, uh, a GPS receiver that is uh, certified for landing procedures, uh, of higher glasses that allows you to, augment, to see the augmentation, uh, an infrared tracking uh, camera on the left and bottom side, and a tablet computer that manages all the data that it, uh, it acquires to get position and rendition of the airplane and the uh, head of the pilot uh, in space uh, and also to provide augmentation to the IR glasses. Uh, basically, the system is employed in, uh, um, such con in those conditions where uh, there is a lot of cloudy uh, clouds in the sky or uh, fog, uh, any kind of uh, low visibility condition actually. And displays 3D frames in space showing the path that you have to, to follow in order to have a safe landing. Uh, these are uh, images that we uh, recorded uh, during the flight test in uh, Russia, near Moscow. And this is uh, Professor Andrei Gorbunov, uh, our partner there. And uh, he's a very brave man because he tried the, the system. Uh, this is the system at work. Uh, this is the point of view of the, uh, the pilot, actually. Uh, and here you will see um, the common uh, visualization uh, screen that uh, usually you can find on this kind of uh, airplanes and this is the augmented reality uh, view. This is the mock-up of the system on the, of the pro prototype. So basically uh, what we uh, do is get the global position using a GPS receiver and also we have uh, sensors on the uh, AR glasses to uh, understand where the pilot is uh, looking at but also we rely on an uh, uh, infrared camera to uh, solve some drifting problems that are typical over the um, AR glasses. So the benefits of our system is that uh, it is uh, low cost uh, compared to ordinary systems that you can find on uh, airplanes, especially in military airplanes. This is a dozen times uh, cheaper than, than those. And this is wearable. It doesn't not require any uh, special installation and you can keep it in a bag and uh, if you need it, you can use it uh, either in, in emergency or just because you needed it for some reason. It is accurate because uh, we are using a stereo visualization um, while on an ordinary system you are not using a stereo visualization usually and it is natural because it's a very simple interface that is uh, very understandable without uh, numbers or a lot of data. And also it's, uh, it is robust because we are using uh, several kind of tracking techniques uh, and we use sensor fusion techniques to merge all of this data. Uh, so the system, as I anticipated earlier, uh, it can be used uh, during emergency situation, but not all in those uh, situation. Also uh, to provide more information to, uh, to the pilots. Uh, now we have seen just the mm, a safe uh, path that the pilot had to follow, but we could imagine to add other kind of information or either for touristic purposes um, or whatever you can imagine on, on a plane. 
Uh, moreover, the system and costs are used in, in uh, naval um, and on ships and uh, um, also for terrain operation inside the car or whatever, because it's actually it's a very general purpose. So uh, actually this is, so if you have any question uh, or you can ask uh, now to me or feel free to contact either me, Alessandro Renzi or Professor Andrei Gordunov, as you prefer. That's it. Great. <laughs> so uh, questions? Alessandro. Oh. <coughs> Hi, uh, thanks for your presentation. Uh, Roy Arendt from the National Aerospace Laboratory in the Netherlands. Um, don't you run into problems uh, with this manual control type? Because you see the tunnel in the sky jittering. Um, uh, uh, you, you mean if uh, we try to, to, sol to solve this kind of jittering? Or uh, you see some jittering in the video? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it's um, um, something that we are working on to, to improve this kind of information because sometimes uh, mm, it depends actually the on the GPS receiver mostly uh, and eventually also on the uh, IR uh, component, uh, the infrared camera that was a really cheap one. It is a very, uh, it costed just 150 uh, euros and it, this was just for the pro prototype. But if you, if you want to have a more reliable data and tracking, uh, you can use a better camera. And in that case, the jittering will, will be uh, absent also almost more, more or less. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, um, I can add some yeah. something else. Uh, we, are so, uh, we are already working also on an another kind of uh, proto prototype that does not use uh, infrared camera but just rely on the visual tracking uh, from the camera that is available on the glasses. So using a sort of slam uh, tracking. So in that case, uh, the infrared camera is not uh, required anymore and you can rely on visual tracking. In that case, it will you expect better results. And then just uh, you know, for those in the audience that I guess have a Cessna plane here in the US, um, is this an app that we'll be able to use here? Or? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, actually, so far we get certification for um, uh, landing procedures uh, in, I think, in Europe. But um, I, I think that there will be no problem to also uh, get certification for USA and uh, use it in uh, Europe. Uh, no problem, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Awesome. Thank you, Alessandro. You're welcome. Yeah.